Well, well, well. Here's Mama Bloom's brood. supper. We find Mama and Yetta washing the dishes. Ma? Ma? What you want, Yetta? You know what I want. How do I know what you want? You want so many things. Yeah, but you know what I want now. Mm -hmm. You want to leave the dishes? Yeah, let's leave them. They'll be leaving? You know, Ma, in the sink. Then what'll happen? Will they wash themselves? Oh, Ma. Look, if we wash them now, they're done. Then we can dress hot and be ladies and have a good time for the rest of the evening. But if we leave them, then all evening we got to keep thinking, the sink is full of dirty dishes. And in the end, we got to wash them anyhow. All right, you win, Ma. Come on, let's wash them. I'll wash and you wipe. But wipe dry. Don't be like your sister. You know, to watch that girl wipe dishes, you'd think the dish towels cost $10,000 apiece. She holds the plate in one hand and waves the towel at it like like she was waving goodbye to somebody who was going away on a boat. I do better, don't I? A little better. But if I was opening a college for dish wipers, you still couldn't be a professor. Oh, oh, now you did it. It's only a cup, Ma. A cup has got as much right to live as anything else. What's the matter? You mad at all the cups? Well, I didn't do it on purpose, did I? Does that make the cup all in one piece again? It just sort of jumped out of my hand, Ma. That's funny. That's the first wild cup we had in this house. Whenever I wipe dishes, they behave themselves. When you or Sarah wipe them, they get mad and they stop jumping around. I can't understand it. Ah, ah, ah. Don't throw away the pieces. We can put it together with paste. You mean muesli? I mean glue. I don't know whether it's more trouble to do the dishes by myself or to have you girls help me and then go downtown the next day and buy new dishes. Oh, we ought to eat off a paper plate. You know who uses paper plates? Starvages. You mean savages. I mean Indians. People like us don't use paper plates. We use regular dishes. (sighs) Oh, Why didn't Papa come home to supper? He was busy. Doing what? Why do you ask me? He's busy with his business. Maybe he's having a conference. What do they do at conferences? Well, the way Papa tells me about it, they sit down and they tell stories. And they make motions. Yeah? What kind of motions? Don't ask me. Well, what do you think? You know, when your Papa talks, he makes motions with his hands? I guess that's what they mean. Oh, it sounds silly to me. Say, I got troubles of my own. I work all afternoon making a fine dinner, everything your papa'd like. And at six o'clock he calls me up and says he can't come home. He's got to stay down at the office and make motions with his hands. If he wants to make motions, why don't he come home and do it? I wouldn't stop him. Oh, he doesn't do it very often. No. Only when I go into a lot of work to make a meal. 
from having something he don't like for supper, then he never stays downtown. That's one thing I found out. Conferences only come when you got a special good dinner. Is that the way it works out? Sure. If I'm house cleaning, I've been sewing, and I'd like Papa to stay downtown, that night he comes home. The very next night, when I fixed up something extra, Papa calls up and says, tonight he's having a conference. Yeah, and your sister, she's just as bad. Well, she probably stayed downtown and had dinner with that fellow she went out with last night. You know, Sydney. Couldn't she call her? Is it some law she can't use the telephone? Oh, maybe she forgot. Her forget her voice good. Her remember her gets out of order much easier. What are we going to do tonight, Mama? Same thing we did last night. Stay home. Aren't you tired of staying home? Darling, I'm tired of a lot of things, but I keep on doing them. Anyhow, Papa will be home soon. Comes nine o'clock, Papa gets tired. Besides, if he was downtown waving his hands, it'll make him even more tired. What time is it? I don't know. Uh, you can call up and ask inflammation. You mean information. Information, information. Ask it. All right. Thank you. It's only 8.27. Hmm? It'll soon be time to go to bed. Time for you, maybe, Ma, but there's a lot of people don't go to bed till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. What good does it do them? They have to sleep later in the morning, so it comes out to the same thing. Only you burn up more electricity. Now, so the dishes are finished. <clears throat> Yet I put away the pots. Uh, those even you can't break. Okay. All said. Ah, oh, there's Papa. No, oh, it might be Sarah. No, it's Papa, all right. How do you know? I know Papa's walk. He scrabbles his feet. You mean shuffles. Shuffles you do with cards. With feet, it scrabbles. Come on back here. Oh, hello, uh, Pa. Yes, hello, Jake. How you feel? All right. What's the matter with you? I just told you I feel all right. Now tell me what's the matter with you. There's nothing the matter with me. Who are you fooling? Over 20 years I've been married to you and you try to tell me how you feel? I know something's wrong. Somebody sick? Nobody is sick. Well, that's something to be thankless for. Come on, Jake, what is it? It's business all right. Business is all right. Well, if business is all right and nobody's sick, Whatever else it is can be fixed up. Did you have supper? No. Sit down, I'll get you something. I ain't so hungry. Till you leave. Come on, Jake. Don't make riddles. What is it? But, Becky, what do you know about business? Business is not a trick like a magician. Business is only common sense. I'm no fool, am I? Say, even if I wasn't so smart when I got married to you 20 years ago... Living with a smart man for 20 years, I got to pick up some sense, don't I? But, Mama, business is different. What's so different about it? If you buy something for 10 cents and you sell it for 15 cents, that's good business. If you buy it for 15 cents, you sell it for 10 cents, that's bad business. You can talk for the whole winter and that's all there is to it. All right, all right, all right. But, Mama, still you wouldn't understand this. Why wouldn't I understand it? Is it in some foreign language like English? Ma, English is no foreign language. In Europe, it's a foreign language. Sometimes the way I speak it, English is a foreign language over here. Mama, Mama, what are you arguing with her for? I'm not... Jake, you feel better now, huh? You want a little more soup? I feel better. Ah, uh, here's another plate soup. Eat the noodles, too. You don't even have to chew them. They'll sleep. Come on. Now that you feel better, swallow the noodles and tell me what's on your mind. <clears throat> well, Mama, I'll tell you. No, it comes out. You know Abe Morgenstern? You mean Sophie Morgenstern's husband, the one with the three children? Yeah. What's he got to do with you? You know he's got a bad reputation. For years, his wife has almost left him. I know the story. He was bombing around and she caught him. Say, those kind of things happen. Wherever you got tires, you're going to have punctures. Well, who do you think I saw him talking to this afternoon? Tell me, darling, I'm not good with cross-town puzzles. Cross-word, not cross-town. Make it riddled. Tell me, Jack. He was talking to our Sarah. Our Sarah? Yes. There he was, standing in front of a cigar store, and he and our Sarah were talking together, close like secret. Why, she hardly knows That's him. That's what I thought. I don't believe it. How can you say you don't believe it? If I saw it myself, I wouldn't believe it. Well, you can believe it, all right. I saw it. 
You know, I had half a mind to go right up to her there and grab her away from that loafer. Did you do it? I didn't want to make a scene. It's bad enough she should stand on the corner talking to a bum like that without me going up and making noises to call attention to her. Why, she's out with Sydney. Sydney Schiffbein. I saw her with Abe Morgan stand. Was Sydney there too? Nobody was there. Just him and Sarah. I look special. I tell you, a man bringing up children nowadays, you don't know what they'll do next. When she comes home, I'll ask her. She isn't home? No. Did she call up and say where she was? No. No wonder she didn't call up. <laughs> she was ashamed. She's with Sydney, all right. She told me she was going with them. Sure, she told me to. Yeah. What's the use of you two telling me? She was with that loafer. You can talk till you're blue in the eye, and you can't make me believe that our daughter Sarah would do a thing like that. When she comes home, I'll bet you will find out that it was some girl who looked like her. I'm so sure I'd be willing to bet cash money. Didn't she have on that little blue dress from Kaplan's Wholesale? And didn't she carry the purse I brought home for Yetta last week with the white monkey business on the back? Yeah, she did. You see, I told you. Then there'll be some good reason why she was talking to him. What kind of a reason? Good reason. Even you, Mama, couldn't think of a good reason to talk to a man like that on the street corner when you're supposed to be with somebody else. Jake. Well, what do you want? Jake, you was on a jury, ain't it? What's that got to do with it? I'll come big up to that later. Tell me, wasn't you on a jury? Mama, what are you coming to? You know I was on a jury four or five times Look, six... Jake, even when a man is catched inside a house with a gun in his hand, you can't send him to jail for boiglery until you heard what he has to say. He looks like a boiler. He acts like a boiler. Nine chances out of ten, he is a boiler. But still, maybe he went in the house to try and sell the gun. Oh, yeah. You got to listen to what he has to say before you can send him to jail, ain't it? Yeah, of All course. All right. For a stranger, a boy you never saw before in your life, you'd give him a chance. But your daughter, your own skin and bones, you'd condemn her on international evidence. It's circumstantial evidence, It's Ma. foolishness. Listen, I don't want to hear any stories. I know what I saw. She'll be home any minute, and you listen to stories. You're telling me what I'll do. Sure, I'm telling you. For 20 years, and I've been married to you, Then why it? don't you be on my side once in a while? I'm your husband. Uh, she's my daughter. After all, a husband's only a relative Mama, by I'm marriage. I'm telling you for the last Here time. Here she is. Hello, folks. What's the matter with Papa? Papa's having trouble with his eyes. He stinks, stinks. Uh, Sarah, where were you? I was going around with Sydney. You were with Sydney all the time? Sure. What's the matter with Papa? Why you want to know? I wish he was in a good humor. I'm going to ask him a favor. Maybe you better wait till tomorrow, huh? It can't wait. Pop... You know Abe Morgan's turn, don't you? Uh huh. Now it's coming out. What's coming out? Go on, Sarah. What were you saying? Well, Sidney and I met him this afternoon. Poor fellow. I never saw anybody so discouraged in my life. He and his wife are back together again, and she's going to have a baby, and he hasn't got a job or a quarter. Sidney offered to lend him ten dollars, and he went in a cigar store to change a twenty, and while he was in there, the poor fellow told me they hadn't had a bit of food in the house for two days. He was ashamed to say it in front of Sydney. You see, I told you, Jake. You told him what? Never mind, never mind. Go ahead. Well, there's nothing more. While Sydney was in the cigar store, Mr. Morgenstern asked me to ask Papa to see if there was anything at the store he could do. Said he didn't care what it was as long as it was work. He didn't want Sydney to know about it because Sydney and his wife are second cousins. Sure, Papa will give him some kind of job. Here's the telephone number where you can reach him. It's the grocery store downstairs, but they'll call him. You will, won't you, Pop? All right. He can start tomorrow. Sure. Well. <laughs> Sarah, you go and call him up right away. Yes, Ma. Uh, go with her, Yetta. All right, Ma. Gee, I think that was swell of you, Sarah. All right, all right, Mom. I know. Now you're going to start with me. No, Jake. I just want you to remember one thing the next time comes up an occasion like this. What one thing? Remember, Jake. That all is not gold, that's jewelry. Mm -hmm.